I want you to start practicing your gift and building your gift of the discerning of spirits. You see, God has given you a gift through the Holy Spirit called the discerning of spirits. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 through 10, to one God has given the gift of wisdom, to another God has given the gift of knowledge, to another the gift of faith, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, the gift of prophecy, and the gift of discerning of spirits. So God, through the Holy Spirit, gives you the gift of discerning of spirits. So start practicing this. Start building your gift. Start using it. You see, it's like a muscle. You go to the gym and you start building that muscle. And the more you work that muscle, the more that muscle is going to grow or become stronger and more powerful. And guess what? It's the same with your gifts. The more you use your gifts, the more they're going to grow. And the more you use them... Uh, the, 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 the stronger uh, they become, the more potent, the more powerful they become. You become better at it the more you use it. It's like anything. The more you read, you read, the better you become at reading. The more you run, the better you become at, at running. And the more you uh, uh, exercise the gifts given to you by the Holy Spirit, the more you're going, the, the, the more powerful you're going to become in uh, those gifts. But regarding the gift of discerning of spirits, you know, the Holy Spirit has given you this gift for a reason. Use it because it's one of the most powerful gifts that we can, one of the most powerful gifts that, that we can have because it plays such a huge role in every single area of our lives. For example, we can have people coming into our life that are disguised as something good. It could be a, a relationship, an intimate relationship coming into your life and it's disguised as, uh, as uh, something good. But then you waste 10 years of your life in a narcissistic relationship, in an abusive relationship. Why? Because you didn't have the discerning of spirits. You weren't able to discern between what is of the Holy Spirit and what, what is of an evil spirit. Um... You could be in a job. It looks like such a good job outside on the outside. It's, you know, it's a good paying job and you, without running it by the Holy Spirit, without using your gift, the discerning of spirit, you just go by what you see externally and you jump into that job. You let go of your old job. You, uh, you, you, you sell your house. You move into a new location. You change your location completely. Uh, you change your direction completely because you put all your trust in that job because it looks so good on the outside but then you find out well the colleagues are abusive the boss is sexually abusive um, uh, manipulating and controlling and guess what you've just let everything go but that why did that happen because you lack the discern you're not using your gift the discerning of spirits because if you were to be, be if you were to discern you would know that that's not there's something not right with that. There's something not right with that relationship. There's something not right with that, uh, with that uh, uh, job and so on and so forth. And so start uh, exercising your gift, the discerning of spirits. Help that, ask the Holy Spirit to, uh, uh, to help you because there are people coming into your life all the time and you want to be discerning about the, these people. Um, if people are already in your life, it could be family members, but you need to be discerning about that that as well because satan or even evil spirits can influence uh, uh people and even the, the, there's a lot of new age teachings out there as well people don't have the discerning of spirits so they they jump into this practice and not knowing that hey a new age is demonic it's witchcraft if they had discerning of spirits they will see right through the witchcraft right through the luciferian agenda they would be able to see satan right through those practices satan is the author of these practices and so it's good to uh, uh, have a, uh, a discerning of spirits you know practice a discerning of spirits and the bible how, how can we uh, how can we discern? How can we know if some discerning of spirits basically means you know what spirit is? You know when it's the Holy Spirit. Someone has the Holy Spirit in them. Someone is sent by the Holy Spirit. What you're being led to do is guided by the Holy Spirit. Or these thoughts are of the Holy Spirit. Or this job is of the Holy Spirit. Or this relationship is of the Holy Spirit. And so on and so forth. Or if it's influenced by 
unclean spirits, you know, the, the spirits, the demons of, of Satan, you get trapped in that abusive relationship for 10 years in a controlling relationship, guess what? You were dealing with the spirit of control or you're trapped in that lust, in that sexual immorality. Guess what? You're dealing with the spirit of maybe Jezebel or you're trapped in the this that, or, 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 uh, uh, relationship. Your partner is always lying. Guess what? You're dealing with the lion spirit. You're dealing with the spirit of fear. You're dealing with the spirit of... Uh, uh, sexual immorality you're dealing with the spirit of you know these these are all, all, all spirits personalities they're all spirits and so the first way to be able to discern is first of all it's like this every mouth that does not conf confess that Jesus is the is, is Lord is just not of the Holy Spirit every mouth that does not confess that Jesus is lord is god is the messiah is the savior of this world is god born in flesh was risen on the third day is coming back it's just not of the holy spirit it's just not but then you know you've got people who do know jesus and do walk in the ways of jesus but get influenced by just because I, i've accepted jesus christ and i walk in the ways of god doesn't mean that sometimes uh, satan can't influence me with pride he catches me at a weak point and he influences me with a bit of pride sometimes but because i've got the discerning of spirit then i discern it, it, it although i'm a bit late discerning it uh sometimes you discern it in advance before it, you, you fall into the trap sometimes you're a bit late sometimes i'm a bit late but i see it after and i say you know God, I've, I've, I've sinned, please forgive me. I fell in, I've fallen into this this, this uh, trap. I confess this sin, please forgive me, and I repent. As opposed to falling in the trap and then going on and on and it just prolongs and prolongs, you know. So uh, apart from confessing uh, Jesus is Lord, uh, it, you also discern with um, aligning everything with the word of God. Align everything with the word of God. Is what this person saying align with the word of God? No. It's not the Holy Spirit. It's an unclean spirit. For example, or it could be just, maybe they're not influenced by any spirits, it could be just the conditioning of their mind. Which I believe some way is influenced by Satan again. So, okay. Maybe you're in this relationship and your spouse is always lying, your partner or spouse is always lying, lying, lying. Is lying aligned with the uh, the word of God? No, the Bible says don't lie. Guess what? It's not the Holy Spirit. You're dealing with the lying spirit in that uh, situation. Is sleeping with other people other than your spouse, if that's happening to you, or if you're seeing it somewhere else, or aligned with the word of God? No. The Bible says do not commit adultery. Let me take you for a trip somewhere. Let me take you on a journey somewhere. Number seven, where is it? Do not commit adultery. Number seven. So you see that person's actions or even your own actions, is that aligned with the uh, word of God? No, guess what? It's not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's never going to tell you to go and commit adultery. The lying spirit will. The <clears throat> unfaithful spirit will. You see, sexually moral spirit will. The spirit of Jezebel will. That's how you know. But maybe a co it could even be someone that's not close to you. It could be a colleague that you barely ever speak to. But you know that they're being unfaithful to the spouse you know that there's an unclean spirit operating through them but then that person approaches you and say hey you want to get into you want to start our own business maybe it's got nothing to do with sexual immorality it's just got complete it's completely to do with business hey you want to start this new project together your answer will be no i mean you already know that that person's been influenced by an evil spirit in their marriage life in their sexual life why would you want to get into business with them why would you want to start projects with them if they've already opened the door somewhere to an evil spirit, and I tell you in many of my videos, evil spirits 
will pave the way for the next spirit and the next spirit and the next spirit to come in after that so if he's already influenced if he's already opened the door if he already doesn't have the discerning of spirits and if he already doesn't have the holy spirit why would you want to um be getting into business or get getting into anything with a person like that you see how having a discerning of spirits see, you've you've noticed that spirit from that person's private life but automatically you apply it now to your business life and you don't get into business with them you, that discernment that you've just had could save you thousands of dollars which you would have lost could save you years of time that you would have wasted with that person in business they could have stolen from you they could have lied to you could 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 anything but we're not going to go based on what could have happened we're going based on the discernment that we see now in front of us and so you got to align it with the word of god but it's also yourself are these thoughts that i'm thinking now in alignment with the word of god so you could be thinking thoughts like uh, i hate that person why is that person doing that you start judging is that alignment with the word of god no you start criticizing them you start blaming them you start pointing fingers is that in alignment with the word of god no so you know there's something that's not quite pure within you and then you need to work with that you need to work on that you need to you need to get into prayer with god god i found this on me today i found this in me today i caught myself thinking this today and um if you can't discern if there's a spirit influencing that and you can just say to god is there something that uh, can you show me if there's something that i'm not seeing can you show me if uh, if what i need to what i'm dealing with can you show me what i need to get rid of can you show me if there's any any spirit operating behind this way of thinking that i'm currently uh, uh, feeling because it could be a, 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 a depression way of thinking so you know that you're dealing with a spirit of depression the spirit of depression can open the door to the spirit of suicide so now you're dealing with the spirit of suicide so you need to say god this is what how i found myself thinking can you help me can you show me what i'm dealing with maybe your mind's a bit fuzzy you can't discern properly that you you know you're dealing with the spirit of depression you're dealing with the, the suicidal spirit and god help me well, what am i supposed to do take this away from me help me strengthen me and so on and so forth show me the way and you need to get into prayer about about these things these things are very very important so it's not just other people discerning on other people it's also discerning on on your uh, regarding your yourself as well if there's emotional states maybe you're you find yourself that you know every time you leave work you return home and you've always got this fear in your chest you've always got this heaviness in your chest you've always got this anxiety in your chest you've always got this worry in your chest so you need to ask yourself hang on let me uh, let me discern is that in alignment with the word of god you say oops no it's not because the bible tells us again and again do not fear do not worry be anxious about nothing so you know that's not of the holy spirit well that you're discerning there you know that's not of the holy spirit because the word of god comes in and it causes a separation it causes a separation between the ways of the holy spirit and the ways that are not of the holy spirit you see it's a sword the the the, the, the word of god is your sword it's a weapon it comes in and it divides it divides what is of god so it's no longer in your mind there's no longer that mess where i can't discern i can't decide what is of what when the word of god comes in it will divide and it will separate them for you and now you know aha this is the way of the holy spirit and this is not the way of the holy spirit god in prayer god help me get rid of that mess is this way of thinking of god no out if this way is this way of feeling of god no not out if this way of behaving of god no out and not just on you that you don't just discern on you of other people as well maybe someone's doing all these things that are not of god but then they come to you you know with the biggest smile with the most innocent face don't fall for that just because that's what you see in front of you don't go by what you see looks can be deceiving don't go by what you see this is why you need the discerning this is why you need to build your gift on the discerning of spirits don't go by what you see because what you see could be lying to you looks can be deceiving you need to discern spirits what is really happening behind that which i see what is really happening behind that which i hear what is really happening behind that which i think i know 
someone could grow up with the idea hey i've always been a bit silly what is really happening behind that which you think you know satan probably trying to deceive you into thinking i'm not good enough i'm silly i'm not uh, I, I can't achieve that it will never work for me you know got a lot of people that say you know i've always been like that i've never really been good at that you need to have a discernment god help me see what is really behind that way that i've been thinking that my way of thinking oh, i'm not good enough I've, satan wants you to think you're good enough but the bible says you can do all things through christ who strengthens you or someone is talking to you and they could be saying the most fabulous words. They could be telling you everything you want to be, you want to hear. This is what a lot of narcissists do. They tell you everything you want to hear. You know, they lift you up, cloud night. You say this, you say that. They boost you, they influence you. Uh, they, they boost you, they lift you up. And that's where they can start to get the power, uh, power of you. This is a narcissistic uh, uh, behavior, um, abusive behavior. And then they turn into the complete opposite. And then they're making you feel that it's your fault. And so you, they, they could be telling you the right things, everything, everything you want to hear. Make you feel like you're the queen of England. You know, I, you know ask God, God, give me discernment. What is really happening behind the words that I'm hearing? Or you could, you, you can see, you know, someone turns up and, you know, they look so perfect, so sparkly, so peaceful, so love, loving on the out, out, outside. So many gifts and make you feel so like the queen of England or the king of England. Well, England doesn't currently have a king, but England will have a king after Queen Elizabeth uh, resigns and her son uh, William takes over. Is it William? Yeah, William is the older one and Harry is the younger one. And then we're going to have uh, 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 Queen Kate, Queen Kate, King William and Queen Kate. Anyway, um, and they, they might be, it look so sparkly and all these gifts, you know, discerning of spirit, what, spirits, what is really happening behind that, what I see? You know, you've got all of these new age teachings and new age is demonic, it's part of the Luciferian religion. Satan is at the middle of new age. But because on the outside, it looks like it's peaceful teachings. It's um, energy work, you know. If you don't have discernment, you get into that. You get trapped in the Luciferian agenda. You need a discernment of spirits. What is really behind that? What I see, and you're, and you're going to see is Lucifer. Lucifer. That's why when you get trapped in these things, you've got more headaches, more migraines, more tightness in the chest, more you can't stop the mind chatter, more everything's breaking down. Your relationships are all bad and narcissistic and abusive. Your money's always running out. Things are breaking down. There's always lag. There's always this, always confusion. There's always chasing. I always need to do that next new thing. I never quite find home. Always like a hamster running a running wheel. I always want this new ascension, new ascension, new ascension. You're not ascending anywhere. You're in the same place you were. You see? Because you don't have discerning of spirits and the only way you're going to have discerning of spirits is only 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 through the holy spirit of god there is no 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 other way no other way to have the gift of the discerning of spirits because the gift of the discerning of spirits is only given by god through the holy spirit in order for you to get to god you have to go through jesus christ jesus tells us i am the only way to god so when jesus is in your heart that's when the holy spirit of god comes the holy spirit, the holy spirit is the very essence the very spirit of god who comes to dwell in you and that will only be done through when you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior why because when you don't jesus came to earth and he took on jesus is the messiah jesus is the savior of this world jesus is god in flesh uh, jesus came to uh, uh, the father sent jesus to earth because the god is the father the son and the holy spirit the uh, this trinity and although the word Trinity may not be in the Bible, sometimes we use words of our own, but the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is God. The Bible tells us in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus is the Word, and so Jesus was with God in the beginning with God, and Jesus is God. And so, um, where did that come from? Anyway, let's continue. Jesus came to earth, and he took on the sins of the world upon his body. It's like a truck taking on all the garbage to take that garbage away and go and bury it somewhere in the ground, in the soil. 
so that garbage will no longer exist more anymore in the community guess what it's the same with jesus christ jesus came as that truck let's say he took on all the sins of this world upon his own body upon that truck he took the uh, sins away he nailed them on the cross when the body died when the body died so when he nailed the when the body was nailed on the cross the sins were nailed to the cross when the body died the sins died and then guess what jesus resurrected on the third day but the sins didn't resurrect for they have already been put to death and so the cross is a victory and not a defeat because the cross proves that jesus defeats sin because it's taken it all away and jesus defeated death how because he rose on the third day he resurrected he's defeated death that's how and so um so your sins have already been taken away you already have your salvation your sins have already been taken away but without acknowledging that without understanding that without seeing that perspective you're still going to be stuck in the old ways well i'm still holding on to my sins well i still don't have my salvation well i'm still this that or the other see when you have to understand you have to accept it you have to understand you have to step into the reality of the risen christ you have to step into the consciousness of the risen christ because he's risen and guess what he rose without the sins because he put them to death you need to step into that acceptance into that reality and once you do that jesus comes in and when he comes in you've, you're already in that reality of my sins have been taken away and now because your sins have been taken away they no longer exist in you god can send his holy spirit to come and live in you because god is not going to send his holy spirit to come and live in a body that is defiled and this is why when you when you accept jesus and you and you step into that reality it all comes to life it all comes to life it's already alive but not in your eyes because you're spiritually blind but when you accept jesus it's all removed and you step into that reality everything comes alive everything comes alive and because now God looks at you and he sees the spirit of Christ in you and not the spirit of sin, he sends his Holy Spirit to come and live in you. Because God wants to live in a clean temple, not in a defiled temple. Why would God live in a defiled temple? Why would God come down and live in a defiled temple? He wouldn't. Now he sends his Holy Spirit to come and live in you, in that clean temple. And every day, bit by bit, the Holy Spirit is guiding you away from the old and toward the new away from pride and toward humility away from hate and toward love it's always away from the old and toward the new putting to death that old version of yourself it's all about me 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 i i i and resurrecting just like jesus resurrected just like jesus put all of that sin to death what sin the sin of pride the sin of hate the sin of the sin of ego the sin of lust the sin of uh, theft the sin of lying and you resurrected on the third day so now the holy spirit in you guides you every single way to put to death these versions of yourself the the version of yourself that lies the version of yourself that's about pride the version of yourself that's about uh, 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 insecurity the version of yourself that's about this that and the other and as as you're put into death this version of yourself guess what you're building yourself in spirit you're building yourself in spirit with jesus christ and this is what it means being born again this is what it means i'm no longer walking in the ways of this world but i'm walking in the in in spirit with god the bible says be in this world but do not be of this world you, you be in this world because guess what we're on planet earth we live here so we're in this world but we're not of this world because we're of the kingdom of god we're not of this world And so only the Holy Spirit in you can help you make these changes. Only the Holy Spirit in you will give you the discerning of spirits. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, is guiding you. Remember, when the, when the word of God comes in, it will separate. This is of God, this is not of God. And then you have discernment. Guess what? You also have free will. Ah, I want to continue in my old ways. Or, no, I, I, I want to follow the ways of God. I have a deep love in my heart for God. I want to follow the ways of God. I want to please God. I don't want to grieve God. I want to walk right by God. I want to walk in spirit, not in flesh. And then, and, and the Holy Spirit gives you the, the discerning of spirits. And then you've got to work that and you've got to exercise it and practice it. And it's not something you do by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. The Holy Spirit is, is helping you, is guiding you. Ah, you see, you have discerning there that spirit is operating behind that person 
so you know however charismatic someone comes to you I see the defiling spirit behind you and the answer we don't have to say that in front of the face you can say to yourself I see the defiling spirit behind you I see the controlling spirit behind you I see the lying spirit behind you and my answer is no I will not get involved with you or it could be a business opportunity or a money opportunity or whatever it is I see that spirit and then you see someone sent by the Holy Spirit and say yeah yes I'll definitely go for that see an, a business opportunity sent to you by the Holy Spirit yeah I'll definitely go for that because not every opportunity is an opportunity sent by God Satan can send opportunities your, your way this is why you need the discerning of spirits I hope I've made myself clear anyway with that being said God bless you may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you